We're standing along Port Hilford Bay on the coast of Nova Scotia, where they're going to be building an underwater whale sanctuary. They say that the road ahead is still long, representative of what they'll face with Tokate. Past picturesque rural towns and beyond the reach of maritime traffic, sits this cove along peaceful Port Hilford Bay near the town of Sherbrooke. It's calm, disrupted only by the crash of waves on a windy day. This is something that whales like. It's where Whale Sanctuary Project founder and president Lori Marino says they found the ideal place for a healing space. And this is pretty close to town, but it's remote enough that there's space. It's perfect. The nonprofit dedicated to rescuing marine mammals and providing seaside sanctuaries is navigating uncharted waters as it works to construct North America's first true whale refuge. We will be there for them. The whale's welfare is our priority, nothing else. Since it's the first of its kind, there's no finished picture of exactly what it will look like. But here's our depiction of how it could work based on initial descriptions. Crews will construct an underwater net anchored on land at Rocky Point on one side of the sanctuary and Bearshwa Island on the other. It will be made of stretchy eight inch thick mesh and suspend it from a steel frame structure floating around pipes to provide a walkway for staff access to the whales. They will have depth to dive, which they typically do not in a concrete tank. Construction itself will likely take months, but planners say it took six years to prepare for that step. Reporting from Nova Scotia, Erica Zuko, King 5 News. Tonight at 630, we go deeper into plans for the whale sanctuary, including challenges they faced working to get it up and running and how it compares to the path for Tokate. For all our coverage this week, you can text the word Toki to 206-448-4545 and we'll send you a link.